Oklahoma enacts watershed Bitcoin rights law protecting self-custody wallets. Julius Smith last updated, May 16, 2024, 1257 EDT, two-minute read. Oklahoma Governor Kevin Stitt delivered a major win to digital asset supporters Monday with the enactment of a new Bitcoin rights bill, A.K., a 3,594 focused on preserving fundamental crypto rights amidst the U.S. Governments crack down on self-custody wallets. Championed in the House by Congressman Samuel Bryan Hill and Senator Bill Coleman, the new law will see the state government prohibited from banning or restricting the use of digital assets for purchasing legal goods services or the self-custody of digital assets using a self-hosted wallet or a hardware wallet. 3,594 A.K., the Bitcoin rights bill passes in Oklahoma. Equally important, 3,594 will ban additional taxes on Bitcoin when used as a form of payment and protect Oklahomans' right to mine while clarifying that certain persons are not required to obtain a money transmitter license. Based on policy drafts created by nonprofit Satoshi Action Fund, the bill will only serve to further Oklahoma's pro-crypto stance towards digital asset regulation. The idea that we the people cannot hold our own assets is antithetical to American values. Without the ability to manage our Wealth, we lose control of our destiny and the chance to create better futures for our families, said Satoshi Action Fund CEO Dennis Porter. This law ensures that everyone can secure not only their hash Bitcoin but all their assets. The U.S. cracks down on self-custody wallets. News of the statewide legislation comes amid the federal government's crackdown on cryptocurrencies, particularly regarding self-custody wallets. Last month, the Department of Justice arrested Samurai Wallet founders Keon Rodriguez and William Lonergan Hill on conspiracy to commit money laundering and supposedly operating an unlicensed money transmitting business. Similarly, Tornado Cash developers Roman Storm and Roman Seminov were charged with conspiracy to commit money laundering and sanctions violations. U.S authorities are especially concerned about the financing of illicit criminal and terrorist financing via the crypto mixers. Tornado Cash was accused of facilitating more than $1 billion in money laundering transactions for North Korean hackers Lazarus Group. Meanwhile, the founders of Samurai Wallet are accused of executing $2 billion in unlawful transactions and facilitating more than $100 million in money laundering transactions from illegal dark web markets. Pro-crypto proponents have been outraged over the federal charges, alleging that self-custody is necessary for those seeking to protect themselves from bad actors in the digital asset sector, however. Given the recent onslaught of attacks on self-custody, there could not be a more important time to send a message that the right to access and self-custody hash Bitcoin and digital assets must be protected, Porter continued. 3,594 will take effect on November 1 of this year. It is unclear whether its passage in Oklahoma will prompt other state legislatures to follow suit. Follow us on Google News.